Hey, welcome back. Now we have created the construction activity list and sequence. While created the engineering activity list and also added the relationships. Now it's time to add the procurement activities. So what's procurement means? It's making buying goods or services by anyone outside of your company. Even if, it, if it's within inside the organization, but let's say it's a different totally department that you have to go through all the procurement procedures. So first, let's have a look of what procurement steps do we have in any project ever. So we'll go through a look. I've added it's pre-qualification of subcontractors or suppliers. Approval of subcontractors or supplier. Appointment of subcontractors, meaning moving on into your site. Material submittal and approval, giving the material to submit and approval and to make sure it's within the specification. Then here it comes. Procurement and delivery, or you can name it manufacturing and delivery. It's as you wish, because this might make a lot of confusion. So you might name it manufacturing and delivery. So these are the five main steps. So subcontractors, suppliers. So all of this step is mainly used for subcontractors. We are going to use this step for subcontractors. But not all of these steps is used for the suppliers. The supplier is no need for the whole pre-qualification and the approval. He's not going to be in the site and the appointment and come to here. The supplier might start only from this point. So it would be supplier and this point. He would submit the material, approve it or not, then start manufacturing or start delivery or manufacturing and delivery to your site. So no need to go for all of this. His material is speaking about itself and his work. So now if things are clear, let's, okay, let's go first to the procurement and make the procurement schedule. But first I would like to identify one thing more. Subcontractor is defined mainly is the one that's going to take this job, bring the material and install it. So the subcontractor can be also fabrication and installation while the supplier is just fabrication or manufacturing. So always keep this in mind. It's manufacturing material and you will install it by your own means or your own labor. So now let's go to our program. So you should also always make sure that you have a procurement list and a material list from the procurement department, contractual department, commercial department, whatever the department name in your organization. But here the construction, we can find out which material do we need to bring it and manufacturing and material submittal and everything. Every and each item needs this, but not every and every material, we will put it in the schedule. Let's say for the block work. The block work is something that the material is very well known and it's not specific for such project. This project is a normal project. It's not like you're, you want a shielded block work, uh, which is, there is, which is solid block work. So you need a special procurement, but this block work is a normal block work according to specifications. So you are going to get it within less than a week. So it's, it's not a big deal. It's, so you don't have to mention it in the schedule or you might mention it if it's mentioned in the contractual specifications that you should mention all the materials within your schedule but most probably from all of these material as you're going to see that your uh, the concrete also you cannot mention it or you can make it the just pre-qualification for the supplier for the mixer you can do this so but here the most important items are the porcelain and the ceramic tiles these are the two main materials that you should bring. And even if we have an MAB equipment, this is the major long lead items, especially if you're working in a country and these materials or equipment are manufactured in a totally different country. So you should always make sure while you're doing the procurement list and make sure with the procurement department as well. So let's start making our procurement WBS. We'll add, move it here, and 
now brew you have to procure it or you can name it you can name it whatever you want to we can make the subdivisions or we can okay it's better to make subdivisions even if we're not going to add a lot but let's make it we are going to make the pre-qualification of subcontractors and supplier might use the exact name we might use the exact name then we are going to make another one we are going to make five of these we can take two pick two and then use the game now it's four we need one more now we have our five oh it's six okay we have to remove this one now we have five one two three four five so just for order nothing more nothing left you will keep this one two three four and five okay so pre-qualification you will go to our template approval of subcontractors and you are going to name it the approval of subcontractors or supplier appointment of subcontractor you're going to name it here as well delete appointment of subcontractors and material submitted and approval it's uh i don't know kind of messy I don't know, it looks like, yeah, this is all wrong. We'll come to back to it later. But let's change this one now. Material submitted and approval. And the last one, manufacturing and delivery. You can take copy from here. Then go back to here. And delete. Now done. We have all the steps. So let's make sure to change this one first. Appointment of subcontractors. Then we are ready. We are ready. Let's go and see how it will look like. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. So now let's start adding our tiles. We'll assume that the porcelain tiles and the ceramic tiles will be from two different suppliers or subcontractors. We assume the porcelain tile will be from a subcontractor, he will be manufacturing and installation, and the ceramic tiles will be from a supplier, and we are going to install it by our own labor. So in such cases, we would add a new activity here, which is pre-qualification which is this, the process of studying for and getting the best price or whatever uh, and the, or whatever you are going to, to do according to specification you're going to study and bring suppliers to do this exact specification that you required for the project verification for the porcelain tiles okay so we can also name this Prick 1000 or Prick Architectural because if you're going to add a lot of items you should make sure that's right you will give it 12 days because it's something common it will, it's not something that's hard and this one see here the name is wrong we would go fix it here it's approvers of subcontractors supplier you know let's remove it all and then take only what we want here go back changed done so we, we can might take a copy of this one and oh i don't know i don't know why it came with a totally different id it's weird but okay so we can take the same id 
and 10 for example can write 10 or we can make this one procurement PROC and the same here so whenever you see 110 this means it's in the stage of approval of subcontractors suppliers this one then and then we are going to name approval we we'll give it again 12 days approval for the personal lane tiles approval on reach submittal and each and everything suppose it's not something that's really need this because again it's personal tiles usually you're not going to do it by this way but uh, it was just for clarification appointment of subcontractors take six days to come to site and take his own carbon and first of stuff make sure that this 1020 and material submittal and approval and here it comes something weird about this something weird about it so let's check this later 1020 1030 last but not least manufacturing and this one is 1040 1040 Okay, so approval for it will be appointment of the porcelain tile. Appointment of the porcelain tile subcontractor. Subcontractor. Material approval, submittal, and material approval. We'll give this some time let's say 18 days the whole process of submittal approval resubmittal the whole process and here after getting the approval start your manufacturing manufacturing and delivery custom clearance and all of everything if it's manufacturing outside of the country you're working in your project manufacturing and delivery of porcelain tiles congrats now you have ready let's sequence it it will take the normal finish to start this one would take the m m most time so this one let's say for example three months let's give it more than three months so let's give it four months including delivery so in case four months the month is 26 working days so you have 26 or you can change the calendar by the way you, there is another option here uh, you can change the calendar and just make it 120 days but it's 104 I I personally don't recommend changing the calendars but you are going to see a lot of planners that this is 104 working days because these are the working days in the month and it's 26 not 30 but some might do what instead of 104 they will just assign a different calendar from the general and go here would assign the six hours seven days working if it's not clear we are going to create one which is quite easy from a refresher enterprise calendars and seven day work week just double check okay yeah it's correct in chat's case what you would do you change the calendar for this one only to seven day work week and make it 120 and instead of making this simple calculation but i prefer to use one calendar only to avoid confusion and a lot of activities and to avoid a lot of a lot of lot of things and even the total float will be calculated different because different calendars so it's it's really confusing so i would prefer to use the normal guard rule so we'll keep it like this and we will relate with the engineering and construction so what's the relation we could relate that we should have some drawings before even review qualification or we can do the pre-qualifications using the specs and everything 
and before the material submittal, we should have the shop drawings ready. Or even if the IFC was clear enough and we can start, so we can start from day one, the pre-qualification. We will assume that we need the shop drawings to be ready. So the shop drawings to be ready, link it finish to start, and this one will link it to the construction of only the porcelain tiles and finished most probably this is the one that would be driving the procurement which is normally but let's see let's see this one's 30 jan to 14 february let's see what's driving okay it's not driving this is a good thing okay so it makes sense no problem because it's shifted away maybe when we compress the schedule it will drive so okay now we have understood the pre-qualification and the procurement activities for any item assume only for the ceramic tiles that you are going to make it submit an approval of porcelain tiles just correcting this one for the ceramic tiles we are going to use only these two activities we are going to use this one and you'll change the name to ceramic tiles ceramic tiles uh, this one of the mistakes is most probably because it's shown something wrong because maybe it's replacing already so with this one yeah this case yeah you might request to change two and whenever you see 203 this means it's totally different item and you would like, or you might, might write it ceramic, but it would take a lot of time if you have a lot of activities. And again, change it, 1040 to 2040. And make this ceramic tiles. Again, we will relate it with the shop drawings. Ah, an easy way to make that relation fast. You can go here. Now, instead of finding the activity, when you press assign it will come directly to the activity which assigned which is the activity that you already want so but in this case it's this activity but we need the activity of the shop drones which is here so when you press assign this one will go directly to approval by the consultant see so in this case it would be easier to go to the ceramic tiles here and just press add done and here as you see appointment we should remove this because this is, has nothing to do and again this has nothing to do with the stromic tiles assuming two different and you should remove this but for now we'll keep it to make it easier to go to the activity and here porcelain tiles here we'll find it we'll pick both and now it's done let's remove this one and 